Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel guys. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad so that you can be notified when I go live, you can be notified when I put another upload. If you're not following me on Instagram, please make sure you go and click that follow button on Miss Serenity underscore Smith. And there's also a way to set notifications on Instagram nowadays so that you don't miss posts there. Um, and also, if you're not a Chatterbox member and you would love to be a Chatterbox member, the link is in the description bar if you do not see a join now button. It is $1.99 to join and you do have to be at least 18 years old. I In the Chatterbox, I do at least one live stream a month. I also do some video uploads and I also do some updates behind the scenes, what's going on, what's coming up next. Um, I also post there first when I have a baby that's going to go up for sale or that's available so you'll be the first to know and um, then the other question that I get a lot and I'm just going to answer that in the beginning of this video is where I sell my babies. Um, I am mainly a collector but I sometimes sell my babies and I've been selling babies a lot more than usual um, but you know, like I said, sometimes I keep them and sometimes I sell them. But when I do, I like I said, I post them on my in the chatterbox, which is a paid membership on YouTube here. And then I post them on Facebook and I post them on Instagram. And then if they're not sold by the time I get make my rounds to there because it's just easier just to pop a photo on and say they're for sale, then I go to my blog which is MrRendysmithBabies.com. Um lately a lot of the babies have been getting sold um in the chatterbox before they make it anywhere else. Um but that's just you know how I've been doing. But anyway today I am here to introduce a baby that I had said that I was not gonna show until she gets hair um, she's been done for a little while. Um, I did have to, you know, like seal her, mat her, whatever. Um, and then I finally did that and weighted her and put her together. But, um, her painting has been done for a little while. I just thought maybe I should just wait to show her when she's fully, fully completed. That was because I was going to put her up for sale. Um, and I just wanted to show her when she was ready to go. But um, I made a rash decision that I would keep her um, for a while. Y'all know how I do. I I plan to keep her, but I say for a while because, you know, people get upset. Like, oh, she said it was going to be forever. And, you know, speaking of that, we'll talk about that in another video. Because um, I did recently sell a baby. And so when I do the video getting that baby dress, I will um, talk about that. Um, but for now, we're gonna celebrate this new baby. Um, as you guys know, I did the prototype for Cody Bear by Laura Tuzer Ross, and I sold that baby um, eventually um, to a very um, loyal customer that owns a lot of my babies actually um and I think she has two of them up for sale right now but anyway that's her business um but I um yeah anyway I just that threw me off I don't know why that threw me off but um yeah so I um yeah so I did the prototype and I let that one go and I said I was gonna do one for myself. I actually have two kids and the goal was to paint both of them and then decide which one I was going to keep in my collection because it was my first really official prototype um, and I am so grateful again by Laura Tuzer Ross. It is so crazy. Like I said, everything comes in full circle. Anyway, I'm going to talk about that as I show her to you guys. Um, she is, I think Cody Bear is 24 and a half 25 inches so um this is her this is my girl and um so she's a big baby in my opinion 
and this was she was sculpted after a three month old baby that was really like really a chunky little baby he's a chunky boy and um he is um julie's one's grandson the real cody and that was the sculpt the portrait but um so anyway so i did the first one as a boy a biracial boy or some can say light skin boy whatever you want to call him but um biracial boy and um this baby i wanted to do more closer to my granddaughter's skin tone and my granddaughter smiles a lot <laughs> she's a really happy giggly baby so anyway i'm going to take off her clothes i don't want to i want to keep her in this sleeper i've been waiting so long to put her in this sleeper so therefore i'm not going to put her in something else but i'm going to take her undresser and redresser basically in this video so you guys can get to see her um like i said she has not been rooted yet and um she is going next though um so she will go next for hair but yeah so i, I she was definitely inspired her skin tone was inspired by my grandbaby and my, so I have a name in mind, but I haven't like said for sure if I was going to go with it. But I keep wanting to call her this in the background. So I'm thinking first, let me make sure that there's no other name that I would want to call her. So one of the things that I thought when I made her, and as you guys can see, um, I, I made her different, uh, a little different because she has a, uh, torso. But one of the things, let's see, one of the things that I, um, was thinking that I would definitely sell her or she would just be a display baby because I normally don't like when babies have tummy plates on or, you know, um, like the body shells and stuff like that because they usually are like more stiff or you know they're not cuddly or you know I just they're just for you know display so I was like oh but then I when as I was painting I was like oh she's so cute and I think she'll be cute as a you know display baby da 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 but then I um So I was thinking, yeah, she she looked good, you know, just a display baby. But when I put her together, she's actually um she actually was still like so cuddly and she just moved so fluidly and I was just like, wow. And her head still wobbles and stuff, um but she can sit up unassisted. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's so crazy because I guess because I didn't make her like super, super fat so that her body could go in or whatever. I don't know what it is, but, sh or maybe this was a bigger size, but she actually, this is a six to nine month size thing and she can actually fit it. Let me show you. So she, this is her back. So... Yeah, so she got like the little plumber's crack right there. <laughs> but um, you can cover that up if you want to. I just always think it's kind of cute. But um, yeah, so I'm going to zoom in for you guys a little bit too. But yeah, so she, so like you can pose her so that you don't. Like I said, because I made it where she does still like flop and stuff, sometimes you have to get her hands right, arms right so that that way you don't see the the cloth hurt. But let me um let me zoom in for you guys into her face or whatever. So I did give this one some little peggies. Let's see. Oh, yeah. 
light in a little bit more. So I gave this one. She does have two little pegs coming in. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, so of course I painted her gums and her mouth a little bit different than the uh different well different a lot different color than the actual prototype. And that's another thing I didn't want her to look like the prototype baby because um it's not fair to the mommy. So um take that. So now let's see. I'm gonna zoom back out so I can get her dress back get her back in her clothes. But yeah, so um I've really been thinking of the name Milani um for her. Um and so I did a thing and I am actually um I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> But I am also expecting another baby. Um, so now at this point, I'm expecting two more babies. And it is exciting, but I sometimes I get in panic mode because it's like I shouldn't be buying more babies. Um, All right, so this is, like I said, my my baby for now because I sold another baby. And once she gets, she has to wait to get hair anyway. So if she gets hair and I decide, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let her go. If something else changes by then or something, then I'll post her up for sale right now. I feel that I get to keep her, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I just really, really, I don't know. I just really love her. So I had, when I, okay, so when I, when I did the prototype and I decided that I would sell the prototype, um, I had another kit here. So I was saying my next kit, I did know that I wanted to do it a darker skin tone and I did know that I was going to try to make it a girl. And so I started buying these, I started buying clothes, um, for, for her. And so this is one of the little sleepers that I had found. And it was on sale and it's so cute. It was on a clearance. And I bought more than one. I actually bought my granddaughter one and I bought and then I bought her one. I tried to get them in more in different sizes, but um but yeah, so I was so in love with it. And it actually even though it's a big size, they usually don't do that, but it has the flip on the outside. Um and I love the way she fits it. And I love, because with her chest plate, she fits it even, and she looks even more um, real to me laying here. But um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So I had bought, I've bought some stuff for her for a while, and I've been dying to put this on her. So I did. So I was like, okay. And I didn't know if she could fit this one dress outfit that I photographed her in um the other day but she could fit it and I looked in the back and just so happened it actually was 12 months so um it worked out but I was just so excited to be able to finally put her in this so I you know I'm keeping it in there so she either is sitting there or in the midsection of the nursery she um even though she's big and I should have set her up. Let me see. I don't know if I can set her up. Where you guys can see without her getting cut off. But even though she's big and she's cute sitting up, I actually like her. Still laying down kind of like a... So she sits up, like I said, with no problem. 
So she, and you can, like I said, adjust her head however you want it. And I think the torso really helps her stay sitting up really nicely without tilting over where you can kind of pose her head all different kinds of ways still too. Um, so yeah. But anyway, that is it guys. Thanks for watching. I'll be back on with another video and I will let you guys know who got sold and who is on their way to a new mommy. Um, I know some of you guys are going to be shocked. Some of you guys are going to be mad at me. But it is what it is, and I will talk about that and explain what happened and why I made that decision next. Even though I know it's my business, but you guys are my Lolas, and I know how you guys are. When you guys want to look in the window, I'm going to go ahead and give you the tea. So stay tuned for the next video. Bye-bye. Some of you guys already know.